Come on. Let's go to ancient Greece. To the time of Pythagoras, the master egghead of them all. Pythagoras? The father of mathematics and music. Mathematics and music? Ah, you'll find mathematics in the darndest places. Watch. First, we'll need a string. <laughs> Stretch it good and tight. Plunk it. Now divide in half. Plunk again. You see? It's the same tone, one octave higher. Now divide the next section. And the next. Pythagoras discovered the octave had a ratio of two to one. With simple fractions, he got this. And from this harmony in numbers developed the musical scale of today. You can imagine how excited Pythagoras was when he shared his findings with his pals, a fraternity of eggheads known as the Pythagoreans. They used to meet in secret to discuss their mathematical discoveries. Only members were allowed to attend. They had a secret emblem, the pentagram. Let's see what the topic is for today. It was our old friend Pythagoras who discovered that the pentagram was full of mathematic. The two shorter lines combined exactly equal the third. And this line shows the magic proportions of the famous golden section. The second and third lines exactly equal the fourth. Once again, we have the golden section. But this is only the beginning. Hidden within the pentagram is a secret for creating a golden rectangle, which the Greeks admired for its beautiful proportions and magic qualities. The star contains the golden rectangle many times over. It's a most remarkable shape. It can mathematically reproduce itself indefinitely. All these rectangles have exactly the same proportions. This figure also contains a magic spiral that repeats the proportions of the golden section into infinity. To the Greeks, the golden rectangle represented a mathematical law of beauty. We find it in their classical architecture. The Parthenon, perhaps one of the most famous of early Greek buildings, contains many golden rectangles. Portions are also found in their sculpture. In the centuries that followed, the golden rectangle dominated the idea of beauty in architecture throughout the Western world. The Cathedral of Notre Dame is an outstanding example. 
The Renaissance painters knew this secret well. Think of a pentagram, Donald. Now put another inside, a third, and a fourth. No pencil is sharp enough to draw as fine as you can think, and no paper large enough to hold your imagination. In fact, it is only in the mind that we can conceive infinity. Mathematical thinking has opened the doors to the exciting adventures of science. I'm a door dog. I've never seen so many doors before. Each discovery leads to many others, an endless chain. Of course they are locked. These are the doors of the future, and the key is... Mathematics! Right. Mathematics. The boundless treasures of science are locked behind those doors. In time, they will be opened by the curious and inquiring minds of future generations. In the words of Galileo, mathematics is the alphabet with which God has written the universe.